Yeah, I mean, so so this brings me to the question of how do we actually make our make our tax and uh, tax laws, and how do we make our tax policies? Because this question is about external. This is really about external governance yes. of the country yes. in any other way. Yes. Yes. Is what, what does that that does this mean for us? That uh, if an external agent can actually invent all manner of taxes and forms of taxation. What does that mean for us in terms of democracy and governance? It then means that in in some fundamental respects, we have paid lip service to the to the idea of public participation. Okay. If you look, the copy of the MTRS that I got was branded on, on the cover, was branded top secret. Mm. How can a policy that is going to affect citizens, citizens, over 50 million Kenyans, be branded top, top secret. secret. And then when you look at how it was formulated, it is basically the IMF telling the government what to do. And the IMF telling the government what to do in the form of what they call capacity building. Mm-hmm. Capacity building these days with the IMF, is uh, it will be through workshops. So you'll have some IMF the World Bank does that a lot as well. Some IMF um, staffers. Expert. Yes, experts. You know, experts. Mm. They come and they'll be telling you what to do. So I suspect, for example, with the motor vehicle uh, circulation tax, is that somebody somewhere sitting at the IMF said, well, this can work in country X. Why don't we replicate it for Kenya? This has worked in whatever other country. Why can't we replicate the same in Kenya? They've not come to try and understand what is the nature of this economy, uh, what kind of taxes do people pay when they import vehicles, etc. So they've not consulted, they've not consulted uh, the, the local citizens, and yet this is happening. So it just tells me that uh, up till 25th, that was a, the, the eventful day, up till 25th of June 2024, when the citizens invaded parliament, we had not taken the question of public participation seriously enough. 